an art exhibit conceived to celebrate the friendship of three artists and their love of Adirondack waterways has taken on a deeper meaning after one of the three friends passed away. Painter Peter Hornbeck of Olmsteadville, New York, died of a cardiac arrest in December. He is famous in the boating community as a master boat builder and the creator of the Hornbeck Boat. Here to tell us about his friend and the Adirondack Waters exhibit in North Creek is photographer Tom Bissett of Delmar, New York. Hello, Tom. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Tom. It's nice to see you. I can't even imagine the emotional weight this one art exhibit carries. First, COVID caused the planned May of 2020 show to be postponed for a year. Then before the rescheduled exhibit could happen, one of your best friends dies before he can see his work displayed on the walls next to yours. How do these events affect you as you reflect on the artwork in this show? I'm saddened with his death. Of course, he was just one of my best friends. And uh, we actually really look forward to this show. Um, but, you know, it's life goes on. And, and um, I think this is going to be a good tribute to him. And I'm really happy to be a part of it. Well, Peter Hornbeck, Daniel Way, and yourself, the three artists in the show have many things in common, including a passion for Adirondack waterways. I understand the three of you would go canoe camping once a year with a special group of friends. What is it you call yourselves? Uh, we call ourselves the League of Extraordinary Adirondack Gentlemen, or League for short. And what kind of group is this? Well, I like to think of us as a group of Adirondack philosophers. The League was started by Dan Way and Pete Hornbeck and a few others. And every year we meet for um, a night or two of canoe camping, camaraderie, uh, political discussions, artistic discussions, uh, current events discussion, and we just camp out at a wilderness area. Well, it's very clear what the three of you artists share besides friendship is a love for water. What do the lakes, rivers, and streams of the Adirondacks mean to you? To me, it's a, a sense of peace, a sense of wilderness, a sense of history. Um, I feel one with whoever God is when I'm out on the water, especially mornings, on misty mornings on Adirondack lakes. Um, and I just love narrow streams and seeing wildlife and feeling a part of it all. And you capture it so beautifully in photographs. And Peter Hornbeck, he's very connected to the water. His name is famous in the northeastern U.S. as the creator of Hornbeck boats. They look like a canoe and are paddled like a kayak. And I understand they're designed to be lightweight and easy to carry. How significant are these boats to your friendship with the other two artists? It's what brought us all together. Um, we just all paddle these boats while well, Pete created them, but he paddles them too. And the first time we went, I woke everybody up at 5.30 in the morning and said, there's a beautiful mist out there, a uh, great photographic. And uh, Dan got up and joined me and so did a few others, but Pete slept in that morning. A nice memory. Adirondack Waters is the title of the very first art exhibit to feature just work from the three of you. The photographs from you and Daniel Way and Peter Hornbeck's paintings, how do these works all complement each other in a gallery? Pete's paintings are uh, very much like Winslow Homer, impressionistic, but detailed. And uh, Dan Way's photos are um, very detailed and mine are somewhere in the middle. I, I like to think of myself as the bridge between Dan and Pete, and um, that's part of the reason why I wanted to be a part of the exhibit, is I thought I fit in nicely between them. And now we're going to bring in Glens Falls photographer, doctor, and writer Daniel Way into the conversation. Hello, Daniel. Hello. What kind of meaning does this art show have for you now that your friend Peter, one of the featured artists, has passed away? Well, I think it's a wonderful way to uh, remember him and to celebrate all the time that we spent together paddling and uh, talking and just enjoying each other's company. Uh, his boats gave us access to the water in ways that uh, few people could imagine before. So 
this exhibit will be uh, a, a tribute to him as well as a celebration of the waters of the Adirondacks. What does water mean to you as a subject for artwork? Water represents one of the fundamental elements of life on Earth. It's, it's, I think it's the most beautiful element, and it lends itself very easily to artistic interpretation. It can act as a mirror reflecting what is upon or bordering its surface. It conjures images of cleanliness, renewal, sustenance, which can be both physical and spiritual. We can't live without water, and I think we should celebrate it in our art. Daniel, you're an accomplished artist, and what do you think of when you see Peter's paintings? When I look at Peter's paintings, uh, I can appreciate the connection with the artwork of Winslow Homer, who was a, a famous, a world famous artist back in the 1870s. Uh, he was one of the first artists to portray not only the landscapes of the Adirondacks, but the guides and the paddlers uh, in his watercolors. Uh, watercolors uh, were not done as often as oil paintings in the Adirondacks, so Winslow Homer had a unique niche, and Peter clearly uh, channeled that theme, and uh, so his artwork is, is timeless. It, it brings you back to, you know, decades and generations earlier, and uh, I think it, it um, contrasts very nicely with the photography of myself and uh, Tom Bissett. Overall, it is a stunning exhibit. Did you ever imagine that one of the three of you would not be present for this art exhibit? Absolutely. Um, the, uh, the, the members of the League of Extraordinary Adirondack Gentlemen that we call ourselves, we're all in our 60s uh, or older, except for the youngest in his late 50s. And Peter was actually the fourth member of our group to die and three of us died of sudden cardiac death while enjoying a hike or a paddle in the Adirondacks. Uh, Peter had a known heart condition and it's a given that we should live every day to the fullest. Um, there's a word called immortal that I learned from a Time Magazine uh, writer and uh, immortality means that we uh, live all the same way and do much the same activities right up until death. We don't ask ourselves if our behavior is age appropriate because the concept has little meaning for us. We don't dwell on the inevitability of death uh, because we prefer to ignore it. So it, uh, it wasn't really that much of a surprise in a way. I wish Pete had lived to see this show because he would have thought it was great, not because it included his work, but because the overall show is gonna look so good. and. All three of us have got our own level of fans and to put our work together, I think um, it's just wonderful and I think it's really worth doing and I'm really happy to be a part of it. I would gladly donate a kidney if it would bring Peter back, uh, even if it was just for this exhibit. He was always so humble about his art and he only began to believe in his credibility as a, a talented artist within the last couple of years. So I'm sure he'd be thrilled to see his work on display in a gallery with other artists and spiritually feed off the response from viewers. That's what artists live for. Uh, I hope his spirit will be there anyway. Uh, we'll see. But um, uh, it is sad that he's not going to be there in person. Well, from what I've heard about him and from the looks of the art exhibit on the walls, his spirit is definitely present. I'd like to thank you so much, Daniel and Tom, for producing such a striking celebration of the waters in our region and such a moving tribute to your friend. Thank you. Thank you. You may see the Adirondack Waters exhibit at the Tannery Pond Community Center in North Creek, New York, from now until June 26th. Head to tanneripondcenter.org for more information. Peter Hornbeck will also be honored with a tribute show of his paintings in late July at the Tupper Arts Center in Tupper Lake. We have information for you about both shows at mountainlake.org. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.